Hi there, welcome to another episode of Scott's Stuff, and I'm here in Columbus, Ohio at the ACEST conference, the American Society for Information Science and Technology, and I'm going to be doing a poster session shortly. And now, a poster session is something that academics do, at, it's kind of like science fair for grown-ups, and so as a kid, if you ever did a science fair, well, those skills are going to be useful if you go into academia and you want to do some sort of presentations. Normally what folks do is when they've got research in, a, in an early stage or, or some, an idea they're exploring, they'll propose a poster session. So I've got a poster here on games and libraries, which is one of my research areas. And so what I'm doing with this poster is I'm presenting some of the basics of my studies that I've done over the last couple years. And so there's two tracks. I made it kind of like a game board with the Monopoly green background, the Monopoly color here. And then we've got the past so the highlights of what's going on with the past and games and libraries and then the present, which is some of the data that I've collected. And the idea of the poster is to uh, inform conversation. It gets me talking with people about my topics and also then allows people to ask me questions and I really get to explore the uh, topic area that I'm presenting. What normally happens is when you get good at presenting something through a poster session, it then gets you ready to go to a conference and do a full presentation on the topic and in front of your peers. And so it's great interaction with other people. It's a great way to explore topic. If you're a librarian out there, there are lots of library conferences that have poster sessions. And so it's something you should take a look at. It's a great way to present an idea, something cool you've been doing in your library, anything that you want to share with others. A poster session is a great way to connect with people and to chat with a lot of folks. Um, I'll try to get some video a bit later on of the poster session in action so you can see what's going on. But really, just think science fair for grown-ups. So I've got to get everything ready. And thanks a lot. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. And here's Jeff. Say hi to everyone back home, Jeff. Hello, everyone back home, Jeff. <laughs> this is my poster over here, which is not nearly as colorful as Scott's, which, of course, is fairly typical. <laughs> and, um, but I'm very proud of this graph right here. So why don't you tell us about that graph right there? This graph shows the, uh, the half-life of publications on the web. How long do publications on the web survive uh, before they become 404 errors or other ki kinds of errors mapped against the resources that are given in reference services? Uh, and what it shows is that the resources and reference services survive better over time than things on the free web, which is this purple line here, or even citations in scholarly publications, which is this blue area. There's a range depending on the field. So reference services do very well. Reference services do very <laughs> well at providing resources out on the web to users who ask questions that actually have a hope of surviving over time and even years later are going to still be there on the web and not have become 404 errors. So I packed a lot of information into that graph. It took me a long time to make it. I'm really proud of it. And that's why it takes up about, what, 5% of your entire poster? Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> because it was a tiny little finding and not really one of the main things that we looked at. but. I spend an inordinate amount of time on that graph. That's fairly typical. I'm really highlighting it since it's at the bottom, yeah. Thanks, Scott. Now, what's this Syracuse thing all about? I didn't know you were at Syracuse. I'm actually not at Syracuse. I'm at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the School of Information and Library Science. But what's your background from Syracuse? My background from Syracuse is that I got my PhD at Syracuse, and I studied with Scott. Um, he was on my dissertation committee and, uh, and a mentor and friend. Uh, and um, I spent five years in Syracuse, five long, cold, <laughs> grueling years doing my dissertation. And this is how these conferences work. You go to these things and you meet all these people from your past and build up networks, and, and it's a pretty cool thing. And now we're going to be competing for people in the poster session. It's, it's the two of us. See, there I am, and there Jeff is. So, colorful, come, happy, play games, boring data. <laughs> Yes, I don't bother with any of that data stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> ah, who needs it? Science schmines. <laughs> so here we have the poster session going on right now. There's Jeff talking to people. This is how the poster session runs. This is with people chatting with researchers. Thank you. 